Live demonstration is coming from Lucknow. बस अरे ओके हेलो कैन यू हियर मी यस सर हेलो यस प्रवीण कुमार आर वी लाइव यस ओके गुड या गुड आफ्टरनून सो ओके आई वेलकम ऑल द डेलीगेट्स यू सी वी आर हियर इन एस डी आई एंड आई विल जस्ट लाइक टू इंट्रोड्यूस माय टीम Dr. Navin Garg is on my right, and then we have uh, Dr. Navin Sharma on the left. Uh, we have Kush Bhatia, and uh, I will just show you the. Uh, someone will show you the slide of the case which we are going to uh, do today. So, can someone show the slide, please? Okay, yeah. Dr. Tanuj, I think. Uh, yeah. Can you tell the uh, details this, of the uh, patient? Yeah, this is a 57-year-old non-diabetic and normotensive male with no other cardiovascular risk factors. Presented to us with class three angina for past three years that had progressed to class three for past six months. Clinical examination was unremarkable, and the ECG had no evidence of any prior MI, no Q waves. Okay, and the echo was also essentially normal. Okay. so 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 practically what is there is this patient presented with angina for 3 years duration and uh, i think he had some acs about 6 uh, months back and uh, he had an angiogram done on 28th of may so we have the angiogram here and i will show you what the angiogram showed that time so that's the uh, uh, left coronary injection as you can see the led is occluded there Uh, there is some trickle, uh, some faint filling of the diagonal uh, system through collaterals, or maybe there is an integrated trickle. Next, please. And uh, so, so that's it. So we have the LED. There is a stump there. Next, which has some leader. The circumflex system is small. Next, onwards. So the straight LED view showing the small circumflex. The LED is uh, occluded. Next. uh can we go forward please so, uh, okay so some diagonal system is filling i think through the collaterals or, uh, as we can see from a proximal diagonal the distal diagonal is filling next next uh okay so that's a cranially tilted view so uh, we have the occlusion but uh, it seems there is a there is a uh, leader there next okay next and can we see the right now okay so that's a big right which is normal and you have very strong collaterals to the left system okay uh, can we see the ra view please all right so so that's the patient so he presented to us uh, in may sometime uh and that was the angiogram and then uh, he came up again about last week so we thought we can do him so today he is on the table so i just did a few shots so what do you think about the patient who uh, if i could know who's there on the on the uh, uh well i think uh, or the yeah uh, 
Praveen, uh, I am Dr. Ashwin Mehta. Any, yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, Dr. Ashwin. Dr. Yeah. Ashwin. Yeah. 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 Nice. With me you. is Dr. Okay. Sharad yeah, Chandra. Yeah. Okay. Any, and any comments? And Dr. Then? Kapardi. Okay. Okay. Um, comments are this. That. Uh, okay. A. What if I'm asked what are the prospects of success rate in this kind of a case? Well, it looks like this uh, occlusion is about six months old. It has a short length. The missing segment is comparatively short, maybe about a centimeter. Yeah. And thirdly, it has a, some kind of a funnel-shaped proximal segment, a little tapered. So in these kind of cases, I would anticipate since there is no side branch arising from here, since it's not a flat occlusion, I don't see intervening calcium, therefore I would go with a very optimistic attitude that this case should be, should be a comparatively a comfortably done um, with an integrated approach. I think what about the, the need for the hardwares? I would say yeah. that... Uh, I, um, so I, so this, is, this is my initial comment. Pravin? I think, I, think I, I perfectly agree with you. Uh, this is not uh, one of those difficult ones, incidentally. Looks like a short segment. There is a funnel taper. So I presume it should be, uh, it should be uh, uh, possible to do it anti-grade and maybe it may not be that difficult. So yes. what I usually do in a patients like this uh, you know, because there is a taper, so I will first have a microcatheter there. Uh, so can you show me the next angiogram? Uh, we'll have a microcatheter there. And uh, usually I take the microcatheter with, uh, with a regular wire rather than a CTO wire. Because at times what happens is the bend of the CTO wire that you need is different from the bend that you need to hook the artery. So I have just done that. This is the angiogram which I have just done today. And uh, so if someone can show only distal two millimeters of the wire being, uh, being uh, bent and about 45 degrees. And the wire now that I am taking is, uh, is a fielder XT. Uh, that, that, was, uh, that angiogram as you see, you can see the buckle. This was a whisper wire just to put the microcatheter in place. And when I... Uh, bushed against the lesion, you see the buckle which says that there is resistance. It is uh, like a CTO, but because it's a short segment and uh, uh, I feel maybe there are some channels there and a fielder XT itself might go. So I will just see it now. So I have the microcatheter there at the tip now. Where is, okay. What it's microcatheter? The the guiding catheter. Pravin, fact, what microcatheter? So we'll just... Uh, well, uh, this is a stride. Actually, I uh, prefer a stride from Asahi over a Corsair, you know, for situations like this. Uh, Corsair is good for your retrograde uh, system because the caliber of Corsair, I somehow find it not that comfortable for an anti-grade approach. I usually prefer the stride. And in fact, I am doing in this case both uh, femoral, but I would, could have done one radial, one femoral. Uh, so this is both femoral because the pulse was not good, I think, uh, for some reason, since the last angiogram, the radial pulse was not good. Can I just have a test, please? Okay. So the microcatheter is just sitting at the mouth of the occlusion. And uh, that's the uh, fielder XT wire. And let us see. So what we do, you see, this is... You just need to keep rotating it and the, the wire actually what it does is if there is a micro channel, you don't need to push. That's very important. And let the, the, let the wire take the channel and its way. So let's see. And if this goes, it's great. And if it doesn't go, then maybe you need a penetration technique with a stiffer wire. And you please. No, right, please. So now all the angiograms that are needed are the right injections so that we know where we are. Okay, so that's in the occluded segment. The mic on that side is... So this one is also showing a little buckling. 
So maybe there is. Uh, it's. And what I am doing is someone can show my hand. I am only rotating. No push Pardon. whatsoever. It's only Pardon. rotation. It's only rotation. Yeah, take a chair here. Pull your chair here. Only rotation. There's some advancement, right? Ah, it has reached the distal cap, but it's slightly on the inferior side. I don't know. Maybe I'll make it a little on the upside. Oh, I think it must have crossed. Angie, please. Ah, where is it? So now is the thing you need to really decide whether it is. Mm, can we see your AP cranial, please? Angio, right? It looks it is not in the right place. What do you say, uh, Dr. Ashwin? Um. Well, quite frankly, I'm not able to see very clearly from here. But I think if you find that in two orthogonal views, it is not superimposing in the over the angiographic shadow created Come on, from and you're right. retrograde. No, this is not like in the right to, plane. To it like stay in okay. the correct channel. This is not in the right plane. Sorry, it doesn't look in the right channel. Actually, if you need to redirect the channel, then what I prefer is a stiffer wire. Because this wire, you know, because if you want to redirect, then a stiffer wire is probably better. I think I will take a Conquest Pro. Right, now, now I think um, there are uh, a couple of oh. options here. If I need to redirect, I prefer a stiffer wire. No. Because um, that is the time when the penetration is going to be utilized. No, and penetration no. can be done no, I, only I can't make out from here. <laughs> now this is a Conquest Pro that I am taking up. I, I can't make out from here. The, the, uh, we, we are not able to see very clearly. And but the bend on the Conquest has to be again small. Hmm. Can you see? I don't know. That's the bend on the Conquest. Because are it's a straight segment, so I don't want to make a double bend. Just a single bend. Uh, Goyal, are you able to hear us? Sorry? Are you able to hear us clearly? Yeah. Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, you, you yeah know. I can hear you. Can Love you me. hear me or not? Yeah, we are hearing you quite all right. You know, uh, it was not very convincing that it is can not in the not? correct plane. Uh, no. uh, perhaps you could have taken one or two more check no, shots. Anyway, uh, you, we, you removed the wire. From what we saw. Can you see you the know. previous angiogram, please? No, uh, yeah. Can we? Uh, that's the angiogram. You can see it. Yeah. Can only, you see the angiogram? Yeah. Yeah. Only the distal most where it was tip the could have been out. You see, there is a gap between. Yeah, only if the most yes. Tip could have been out. Yeah. So that is the main thing. So you see, that is where, uh, if the distal tip is out, so that means it is taking a way uh, uh, extra uh, outside the lumen. So in that case, I don't want to pursue further. You see. I just don't want to pursue further because this wire will not now re-enter. For re in the sense, I need to get back into the lumen, so I need a wire with a stiffer tip and that bend, uh, that sharp angle, which will uh, redirect me back into the into the uh, true lumen. Uh, this uh, Fielder XT is good when it takes a channel and it just goes on in the channel and enters the true lumen, but this somehow did not do that. Goyal, so if the first wire is in subintimal plane, Oops. and uh, you can change to parallel wire okay. strategy yeah. rather than removing the first wire. Yeah. Huh. I, I, I agree with yes, you. Yes, I, 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 I agree you can change um, to parallel wire technique, but I usually don't, uh, I'm not very fond of that unless it is, uh, uh, you know, there is no other way out because this I'm just exploring and I feel that I will be able to get into the true lumen just by a little redirection. Uh, can I see RAO, uh, RAO cranial again? RAO cranial back. Uh, RAO cranial, 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 cranial. Okay. Just, just for the people here in the and audience, I must say that the, the same uh, parallel wire injection. technique 
requires a few requisites. One, I think the second wire also comes over a microcatheter. The first wire, which is left behind in the subintimal space, acts as a geographical map. It also prevents by an entrance block yeah. so that the second wire does not go there. And um, usually the second wire which is chosen should be stronger so that it can come back into the true and human yeah. from the subintimal space. And um, one could be... Uh, now you see that? You see that yes. crossing? Yeah. Now this is the Conquest Pro because I could redirect it into the true lumen. So I think uh, Ashwin was also saying the same thing. It needs to be stiffer uh, even if you leave the parallel wire. The parallel wire actually blocks the side port where you have entered the wrong way. But uh, if you do it in a controlled fashion, uh, like I usually am able to do it in a controlled fashion and uh, I changed into a second wire which is Conquest and you see now that Conquest has entered into the true lumen. Now I'm reasonably sure it is in the true lumen. Now your wire movement is so smooth that it is in the true uh, lumen. I, I hope uh, uh, you're getting what I am. Come on, right. So, and I always confirm it in two views. That is very important. Two views means two orthogonal views. That is about 90 degrees apart. So it is in the diagonal. So that's a good thing that says that we are in a branch, that means we are in a true lumen and I don't really want to have it go too far. Uh, I'll soon take a second. Because sometimes, you know, with the stiff wire, you dissect the artery later after having uh, crossed the lesion, the true lesion. Right, please. Are you uh, planning to bring uh, micro? I can even leave it in the diagonal, that's not a problem. Yeah, there is a lesion in the distal LED where your wi wire is very dangerously lurking. You, you can try no, no, and see no, no. if this your microcatheter no, no, goes the forwards. The wire catching it there, you see. You can try and see if your microcatheter goes forwards. Okay, right injection, please. Okay, that's fine, whatever it is. Uh, I need a doc now. Now, now this is another thing. Uh, someone will say that uh, you have the microcatheter forwards and then and then change the wire. Well, I don't do that. So, you know, everyone has his own uh, ways. You know, by which he is comfortable. So I'm not trying to say that everyone needs to do it that way. I totally appreciate that you could push the microcatheter forward. The only downside of it is, in case there is a problem, then you know. Uh, so what I usually do is, uh, I have it dock extended and even for exchanging this microcatheter, you can do it by injection with syringe. But at times, uh, I have lost the wire in that effort. So I always have it over the wire now. Come on, Floro, please. So I have the dock extended. I am now pulling back the, I am pulling back the microcatheter. Wire ko dekhiye. Wire ko dekhiye. Guiding ke muh ko dekhiye. Guiding ke muh ko dikhaiye. Aap dikha nahi rahe hai. Okay. Okay. This. Okay. Hold it up, please. Okay. So that's that. That's that. And now the dock is away. Now I need a 1.5 balloon. Now I need a small balloon. I use a mini track should do the job. Come on. Because very soon I want to make a channel and change into a into a regular wire, you know. Can so you, can that's you, just the way I'm comfortable and I can do it that way, so and I just do it like that. Can you, can you hear because us? Because I don't want this ca uh, wire, you know, uh, to go too far forward. Because, ca you, can you hear me or you can't hear me? <laughs> Fix, please. Can you hear us? <laughs> Praveen, are you with us? So, so friends, it is uh, going to I be... I don't know what you... Uh, uh, I think I was... In now, now, Praveen. Sorry? I think you heard us this, Miss. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, there have been some suggestions what here. What did I hear? The... Okay. Uh, just Test. in case... Uh, of, yeah. of late, no, I think... Um, in case if you do not have a docking uh -huh. system and uh, you cannot extend... Then the uh, in case you don't have, well, you can do that. 
Yes. Yes, you can always uh, you can you can uh, you can have a syringe attached there and change it. I know it. But I don't do it. That's what I'm saying. I don't do it. I find it more sure. convenient with the doctor sure. system. So, okay, test. fine. You know, that's my personal convenience. Test, please. Yes. You know, because uh, I have yes. had a situation, I'm sure anyone could have it, where, you know, in that deal, the wire comes out. And then in this, although it will take a little more time, but I'm sure the wire will not come out. It's under my control. So, uh, it's, you know, more foolproof. So that's the reason maybe I do it like that. Okay, so that's a 1.5 mm channel probably created. Let me see what happens. Angio, please. Okay, so there's some anti grid flow coming up. All right. I'll make it a 2.5, uh, 2 okay. I'll just do it with a 2.5 balloon and make the channel bigger and then and then uh, and then put a regular wire in there when i say regular means one of those workhorse wires because the problem with this wire is the conquest uh, that because of its radio opacity you do not know exactly what's happening at the lesion and beyond the vessel so i soon want to change it i could do it at 1.5 also but 2.5 will make a lumen which is a little better and i'll just uh, be able to push the uh, a regular wire uh, without uh, needing a microcatheter now this time. Okay, because the other way that people say is you have a microcatheter and change the wire through the microcatheter, then there is no chance of entering a dissection flap or a plane. Uh, but uh, I'll just see. Test, please. I need a RA Ukrainian. What the hell? All right, I think. Uh, uh, Test, please. The, the, this technique is okay. much more elaborate. Um, and in case if you do an anto technique or say trapping the wire, it's easier and equally secure or more secure actually. And because a wire tip movement of a strong wire in a distal end yep. is uncontrollable many times. And one is worried if the guide catheter comes out or so. That's it. In, in fact, uh, if the microcatheter could be pushed forwards, which he I, I always, I, I pref no, no, it goes. It goes, it the, goes through. The, uh, but I'll tell you what, fine cross microcatheter, fine cross. No, no, microcatheter will certainly go in, but yeah. now if I need to put a microcatheter, I again. <coughs> no, 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 we're talking it need a, Push the microcatheter. Need a extended and change wire or else sometimes the wire can buckle at the, between the, if I. Because the earlier okay. you take out a stiff wire, okay. the better. So now, uh, can I have a regular That's uh, uh, your wire? colleagues to change the strategy as go the uh, supporting uh, device. So now, by the side of device. this, I'll put a whisper wire. For exchange. Same. This is not whisper. Give me a whisper wire. Yeah, but. Give me a whisper wire. Um, um, so now I'll, I'll put a whisper wire the by the side of this. With the microcatheter or a balloon, whatever you are using. Could be, could be, could be, could be. Uh, with a rotatory moment, the uh, Corsair uh, penetrates better because a the and second thing that the the Corsair is made up of ten wires, um, which converts the entire system into a small rope, and its penetrating power is better, and therefore of late, um, I don't think we use tornus much, and once the um, this uh, Corsair is there. Um, you can inject also through Corsair if need oh, arises. Good. You change the wire also through that, and it penetrates and creates a passage like cor uh, Tonus would do. So it, it's it, it's a good device. For audience sake, this single wire anti grade strategy made simple by Japanese uh, uh, colleagues. Taking the uh, supportive device as a, a Corsair rather than a microcatheter so that's and the, taking that's as a soft wire. <coughs> and the once any wire. resistance, they are taking a Gaia wire, which and is 1 is 2 1 rotation the and penetrating. And uh, crossing the wire, they will exchange with uh, this Corsair to a soft wire, making the very, very simple, the anti grade single wire strategy. Okay. Sure. Come on. Angio, please. Okay. 
So that's it. So I think we have opened it and we have the channel and we have it patent. I'll just do a balloon and maybe we'll have the stent in place. Come on. Uh, the same balloon, 2.5. You see, uh, always there are one or two ways of doing the same thing. And uh, whatever you do, you must understand what you're doing, both the upside and downside of it, and be comfortable with that. I think this is what uh, interventional cardiology is all about. Do you agree? Dr. Goyal, do you do CT angio uh, prior to every CTO program, any case? Yeah. CT angio prior to every CTO program, any case? Well, uh, CT, um, I don't. Uh, and I'll tell you the answer why. You see, uh, what CT angio is going to tell you is the length of the occlusion. I think that is what we all uh, very strongly believe, and that is correct. It can tell no, you the length um, of... Very good estimate of the length of the lesion. The need but for, uh, I can, there's a downside but what I usually do is, I do some long injections on the angiogram itself. Yeah, okay. you, you have a lot of radiation and then you know, you have that contrast already gone and CTO is going to use more contrast. So I feel a little um, skeptical about doing CT, uh, CT angio in all the cases. But no if you do a good long injection on, on your uh, feeder vessels, and have the artery filling back all the way and analyze it well, I think you can get a fair amount of idea as to how long is the occlusion. So mm -hmm. I usually use that uh, approach rather than doing a CT angio. Uh, no, Dr. Uh, Goyal, yes, because the uh, tortuosity yes. of the uh, CTO yeah. segment, which you can't yes, derive by uh, bilateral cine angiogram prior to your intervention, mm -hmm. it won't give that uh, uh, idea. Only CT angio can give the tortuosity of them, which is very important also to calcium. select your strategy. Very, also very important. Calcium. calcium also. So that you can assess your success no, as well as this. Yeah, I, 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 no, no, that's right. That's, I, I'm not disagreeing. I, 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 I agree. But, uh, you know, usually if you see the anatomy of the arteries, tortuosity uh, uh, very rarely will come a single bend at a localized point. Tortuosity is in the whole tree, if you understand. So uh, you can sort of extrapolate, unless it's an occlusion which is 40 millimeters or 60 millimeters long and you have no idea, then certainly is, things is, will um, be better with CT angio. But is, uh, otherwise, tortuosity also you can estimate by, by w seeing the tortuosity yeah, of the proximal segment and the distal segment and the in-between yeah. segment can be extrapolated. So, well, there are both ways of uh, understanding that. Uh, test, please. This is one more way of judging tortuosity. If you take an angiogram and if you do a bilateral injection and you find that the proximal segment and distal segment are moving in disharmony, then the missing segment could be tortuous. That's one way one could judge that. Any... Uh, okay. Uh, I think you can ask the audience. Uh, anybody All with the right. audience has a comment so, to make? You have your so mic, I think, I think uh, on the floor. The balloon mic work is done. Okay. So now what we need is only a stent. So what? How? How much length? What diameter? Maybe three mm. What do you think? How long should the stent be? Uh, I think. Um, when we saw a retrograde injection, a contralateral injection, I think uh, just little proximal well, to that diagonal branch. I think 28. Uh, the, your distal stent should come up to the diagonal branch. Yeah, diagonal to diagonal. The total occlusion yeah. was short, but the DCG is longer diagonal, than that. Isn't it? Right. From diagonal yeah, to diagonal. Because what happens is, this is the other thing, when you uh, well, I will probably not cover the proximal diagonal because there was a stump beyond that. Um, maybe we'll use a 28 millimeters. I think that should be okay. Because what happens is when we are doing these uh, occlusions, uh, some part of the uh, wire goes uh, uh, extra luminal or whatever. So uh, the lesion invariably becomes longer, although it looked about 15 to 20 mm to me initially, 20 mm or something. 
but now uh, uh, I think maybe a 28 millimeter. I am taking a uh, uh, this thing. Which one is it? Zions Prime. Uh, Zions. Zions V. 28 mm, three millimeter diameter. Okay. So. And hopefully, fix. Yeah. And you. And you, please. Is that okay? Uh, where is the landing zone? What? A little more distal? What is the stent? Dragil duty stent? Yeah, it's a Zans. 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 I don't know what size is this. Okay. Go 3 on. to 28. Sorry? 3 into 28. 3 28. 28. 28. 28. Okay. Just give it. Test, please. 3 to 28. I think this, this should be okay. Yeah, should be okay. This should be okay. Let's see. Yeah. So we are up to about 12 atmosphere. There's some residue, I think, uh, at the top. Maybe that will need an NC, because that was the main part of the lesion. There is some residue at the top. We'll do a stent boost, OK? Can we have a stent boost, please? Okay, yeah, maybe there is some mild residual in the in the uh, proximal part of the stent. Let's see on the angiogram, and then I can do an NC if that be so. Um, okay, what's this injection? Inject. Looks very well, nice. And very nice. Yeah, the patient could benefit by another dilatation yeah, in the proximal looks, segment. Okay, I think. Yeah, the patient could benefit by another dilatation in the proximal yeah, segment. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah. Uh, uh, three, three, nine, and C. Okay. You know, Dr. Goel, uh, that's an excellent case and very good demonstration. There. Uh, there is a bit of a problem yeah. of time, and we will so, say. So, congratulations, well yeah. done. And I think. Yeah, no uh, problem, because I, have, I have shown. I have shown what, uh, what is most shared. essential. So that's fine. You can go off air. That's not yeah. a problem. Okay. okay. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Thank you.